Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is the October Snacko. Uh, this box always looks the same, but it comes in different wrappings here and there. Uh, this time around, uh, it's purple. The last one was a pink wrapping. Uh, my wife wants to keep them because you can wrap other stuffs in it, other stuffs, other things in it like gifts. Um, also good for putting gifts in a bag and then just having that as kind of the filler instead of using tissue paper, as it looks a lot better and reusable. So anyway, um, that's the regular box. This is, like I said, October, so it's a fall theme for this one. And I'll show you their card. They always have good artwork on their card. Does it look like fall? Yes. Looks like fall. And then that's where all the stuff is on the back. If you want to see it, if you want to like pause and read ahead for what I'm going to be eating, go ahead. If not, don't spoil for yourself. All right, so tissue paper usually in this. I'll show you how it's packed in here. Oh, let me do it from this way. Woo. See how it's packed? Look at all that. All those goodies. All those goodies in there. All right, so they usually give you duplicates, sometimes triplicates or more of each item. Get that tissue paper out of the way so I'm not having all sorts of problems. Um, okay, so just going to go through, do a little bit. Got my trusty water. Sorry, that moves the camera. My apologies. All right, so the first thing, I'm just going to, whatever I grab first. So there's three of these. Let's take a look at them. Very Halloween-y. October, it's appropriate. Halloween in two days. I'm excited. It's actually my favorite holiday, so pretty sick about that. I'm going to put so much stuff over here on this couch. I'm sorry. So I'm going to open one of these, put the other two aside. So this is... Onigiri Senbai. Love Senbai. So the crispy baked mini soy sauce and seaweed Senbai in playful cute Halloween packaging. Playful cute Halloween packaging? Check. That's accurate. Let's get in there, see what it looks like, tastes like. Love me some Senbai. Not as into the seaweed portion of it, because if anyone's not had seaweed, just so you know, it tastes fishy. Like, it's from the ocean, so... It makes sense. It tastes fishy. All right. So this is the Senbai. You can see it. You can just see the glaze on there. All that soy sauce. It makes me excited. Oh, it smells like soy sauce. Sweet and kind of salty. Mmm. Very crunchy. I like how crunchy that is. So there's not as much sweetness as I thought there would be on it, or like a tanginess from the soy sauce. Um, it is salty, but not crazy amount. Mm. I love the crunch though. That's some awesome crunch. Okay, that's enough of that. There's only like little, I don't know, actually, I don't know if you really saw, there's just like little flecks of the seaweed. So I'm not really tasting the seaweed that much. So for me, that's a big plus on that. Mm. I like Senbai a lot. It's almost got a little bit of a corn type flavor to it. Just like slight. I know it's not, but it's just slight. So there's that one. Oh, this one looks good. We have two of these. Da, da, da. These things. If you want, I don't know if you want to see the back. I know some people might care. Whatever. Um, these feel soft, too. These are... Oh, I was interested in these. Kori Manaka. Ginza no Akebono opened shop in the famous Ginza district of Tokyo in 1948. Back then, sweet snacks were extremely rare. But the shop became popular post-war as Japan was rebuilding, and the shop distributed snacks to the people as a way to boost morale. These wafer Manaka have been made since... Okay, Chloe, you gotta get down. Have been made since the very beginning and are filled with a combination of sweet chestnut and red bean paste. Sorry, I gotta take care of something. My cat. Excuse me, Chloe. You gotta get down. <laughs> Sorry, my cat loves to spend time with me. Plus, I have, like, food sitting there and a glass of water, which she likes to drink out of actual glasses of water. So she jumped up on the table, which is why everything was kind of shaking. So, sorry about that. Detoured. I did finish the uh, information on that. I am interested to try this. 
So sweet chestnut red bean paste. I do know I'm a fan of the red bean paste, which I just found out when I originally subscribed to um, to Snacko. So that's cool. But I don't know about sweet chestnut. Ooh, shit. I'm gonna have to clean up after recording because there is just, this thing's flaking all over. There you go. Mm. I kind of, mm. I don't know. So the outside has like a pastry, like a puff pastry type flavor to it. That chestnut, the sweet chestnut, I don't know. Like I'm very undecided on it. Like it is sweet. It's got like a sweetness to it, but it's got almost got a little bit of like a fruity tang to it as well. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't dislike it, but I don't like it. I don't know. Where's the red bean paste? I didn't find a red bean paste in this one, but it's mainly just a sweet chestnut. Maybe, well, I mean, so the picture, oh, uh, okay. So that's the, so I guess some are the red bean paste and some are the sweet chestnut. No, this is a sweet chestnut. I probably like the red bean paste one more, knowing exactly what the outside of this tastes like. And then what the red bean paste tastes like. But this is actually starting to grow on me. The sweetness of it is coming down a little bit. And it's almost, it almost is a tad bit nutty in the flavor, but not crazy. I like it. It's good. All right, next thing is another, like, Halloween-related item. There you go. They're, like, they look like cheese puffs, basically. And pizza-flavored corn puff snacks is what it says. That's all it says about it. These are... So, let me show you real quick. The ones on the side are like additional. They're not actually a part of the theme. The ones down here, these are all like part of the actual theme of fall. That's the way it always is. They always have like some extras. All right, pizza flavored puffs. This will be my first time trying one of these types of things. Yeah, it just looks like a cheese ball. <laughs> I like it. Very light and fluffy, a little bit of crunch. The pizza, yeah, it's just like a little bit of like pizza spices that you would get in marinara sauce, but not a lot. Light cheesiness to it, a little bit salty. Um, it's decent. I kind of like a little bit more of the actual flavor to it because a lot of the corn of the puff comes through and that's kind of overpowering a lot of it. So it's okay. I'm not huge on it though. It doesn't taste as pizza as I would want it to at least. All right, next. These look interesting. I'm just gonna show you one of them. So this is Kaki Yokan. Kaki Yokan. I mean, I just guess at how these things are said. This is like a jelly thing. This will be interesting. So Kaki Yokan, uh, Suchia was established 250 years ago in the snowy Gifu prefecture and has been making these snacks since 1902. Dried persimmons are dried through the month of November and then frozen outside in the frigid temperatures until February. Then it is ground and mixed with a combination of malt sugar, salt, and red bean paste, then aged in a bamboo cask until spring. You won't find these snacks anywhere outside of Gifu. So, that's cool. I know this is a pretty rare offering, really. Which is why Snacku is cool. Yeah, it just feels like a jelly thing. Oh man, this is gonna make it's kinda hard to get out of here, honestly. And it's got like an additional wrapping around it. Cause it's very jelly-y and it's starting to like melt a little bit is what it feels like. It's just slimy. It's okay that it's slimy. All right, there's a lot of, there you go. You can see like f some flux of things in there. It's probably like persimmon pieces. So for some people, this type of stuff 
automatically going to be turned off because of the texture. Because it is like a jelly that you're biting into. I'm okay with that. My wife, she's not big on it. Like, she's not going to want to even try these. So, it's just like a very light persimmon fruitiness in there. Like, very light. But it's pretty sugary. It's very, very sweet. Um, it almost tastes a little bit carrot-like as well. Which is kind of interesting to me. I'm not a big fan of that. It's okay. But that kind of like weird, that kind of carroty note, and the fact that it's, it is really sweet and there isn't as much of the actual kind of persimmon flavor kind of makes me a little turned off of it. Yeah. By the way, coming into this box in particular, I was not thinking that I would like a whole lot because fall flavors aren't typically my favorite because uh, you get a lot of like maple and pumpkin and stuff and like spicing, and I'm not big on any of that stuff. So just a warning. I should have said that in the beginning. So it might be sweet a little bit. All right, next thing. I have three of these. I'm kind of excited about these because when I had another one of these types of things in another snacku, I was like, oh, this is the first time I've had this, and it's pretty cool. So this is rusk. This is per uh, in particular a pumpkin rusk. My wife will be excited about that. First of all, she really liked the rusk from the last snack we had rusk in, and she really loves pumpkin stuff, so this will be a really good one for her, most likely. So let me try it and make sure that she will like it. So rusk, basically, if people didn't see me do it in another box, it's just like toasted baguette with, with stuff done to it. Like, in this case, it looks like it just got like some sort of like pumpkin flavoring and sugar on it, and then some pumpkin seeds in there. I mean, it looks like it could be good. It smells sugary. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Love the crunch. I'm big on textures. I love crunchiness. There's a lot of crunch to this. And it's almost, it almost comes off with like, like a cinnamon sugar is how it tastes. Mmm. It's kind of buttery, cinnamon sugar. I don't taste a whole lot of pumpkin, but there's like a slight pumpkin to it. Yeah, it just tastes more like a buttery cinnamon sugar toast, which that's fine with me. I like that a lot, actually. Look forward to finishing that off later. That's tasty. Oh, I didn't read about the pumpkin rusk, so let me do that right now. I was too excited about it. Located deep within the mountains of Yamagata, the Sibel Sibele Wheat Workshop has continued to make some of the highest quality snacks in Japan for over 20 years. These seasonal pumpkin rusks, twice baked baguette, is what they say, that's what a rusk is, are glazed with pumpkin infused butter, okay that's why it tastes buttery, topped with pumpkin seeds and baked in a clay oven. That's really tasty. Like I'm not big on, like I was saying, not big on pumpkin stuff, but I like that a lot. That tastes great. All right, next thing is where oh, I know what this is. Okay. These are like you know, it's like an eyeball and like a mouth. So they're Halloweeny. So these must be the choco pies, which I don't I didn't know that was really wait, let me see which one's less crummy. This one might be less crummy. I try not to make a mess here, but I still clean up afterwards. So Choco Pies, um, pretty sure that's what this is. I'll have to open this first just to make sure. Oh yeah, it says on the back. Duh, I could have done that first. Check that. Uh, soft chocolate covered cake sandwich filled with a mildly sweet cream filling. A perfect pick me up for when you're feeling down. This isn't like a specific to Japan thing because I've had Choco Pies from other countries. Um, so this isn't like a you know, unique Japanese snack, really. But the chocolate pies I've had before are good. Oh, God. This is what sucks about getting these things shipped, is sometimes they just really get beat up. This one's not as beat up as it could be, but you can see it's already, like, broken off. But it's choco pie. Really light and fluffy. Cakey. Chocolatey. Creamy. Hmm. Mm. 
So with a lot of those types of things, they can taste like really chemically with the way they're producing the ingredients that are used. That one really doesn't. It tastes like a nice like light milk chocolate with like a vanilla y cream in the middle and a nice like sweet cakey um, cake basically in there. That's pretty good. I'm down with that. But I kind of knew what I was going to get from that anyway. If you've ever had choco pies, you'll know. All right, next. What is this? This is. I don't even know what this is. Oh, haha. -ha. Okay. Le Monde. We've had these before in a snack goo. They're like kind of like wafers, wafery, like rolled wafer things. I don't know if I hit it upside down. Um, yeah, and they're they're kind of they kind of present like Kit Kats in a sense, but they're not. Uh, special Halloween version of the popular chocolate rolled wafer cookie. Yeah, so it's just like chocolate on the outside, rolled wafer cookie on the inside. Um, and they are messy when you bite into them. They just crumble, so warning on that. See, you can see the layers. Mm. Once again, once again, there's a really nice crunch. Mm. Oh, that wafer cookie. Yeah, that rolled wafer in there. So crunchy, nice light sweet flavor. It's not crazy sweet. It's buttery with a sweetness that's kind of mm, like toasted. It tastes like kind of toasted. And it's like a really light chocolate on the outside. It's not super decadent. For what this is and what the description says, it presents a lot less sweet than you would think. It's a really nice dial back sweetness. I like that. That's good. Mm, I'm glad they have extras of those. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Going back... Oh, this one's all messed up, but... Going back to the fall-themed stuff. This is... Kabocha? Kabocha Senbai. Obviously, it's pumpkin-related. And has really nothing on the back. So, there you go. Uh, these Senbai are made with rice and pumpkin from the northeastern Luat Prefecture. They are mildly sweetened using a natural process with pumpkin and pair perfectly with a nice cup of tea. I don't really drink tea regularly. I have had tea before and I like tea. I just don't really drink tea. More of a coffee guy. But let's see if I could think that these would be good with tea. I'm just going to take like a little piece out. That's what it looks like. It's just like a little wafer. Looks really well roasted or uh, toasted there with some pumpkin seeds in there. Smells seedy, nutty. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I do like pumpkin seeds, and you can taste the pumpkin seeds a lot in this. There's almost a little bit brown sugary flavor to go with it from, like, the toasted, like, sugar cookie around it. Really showcases the pumpkin seeds, though. If you like pumpkin seeds... This is a good snack for you. I think my wife will like that. She likes pumpkin seeds, so well, that's a good one. Ooh, man. It's like pumpkin seed. All right, there's a few of these. This is a very popular thing. Uh, haichu. And these are like, again, like Halloween-themed haichu. This is a bunch of them. Do-do-do. There you go. A uh, popular delicious yogurt candy that comes in grape, strawberry, or green apple. I don't know which one I'm choosing here. It's at random, so let's see. I know about Haichu. I don't think I've ever had Haichu. So it's kind of like a Laffy Taffy type thing for people in the States. It's like white, uh, whitish there. So this must be grape. <sighs> Oh, man. Is it ever great? It's like... It's so chewy. Just like Laffy Taffy. It's very, very grapey. But it's like that. It's not what actual grapes taste like. It's like that artificial grape flavoring. But honestly, I like that. I like that flavor. 
Oh, this is good. It just tastes like, think about like super grapey bubble gum, like bubble yum. That's what that tastes like, but you can swallow it because it's not gum. I like that. I'll finish that later. I know it seems kind of dumb, but I don't want to just keep chewing because it is like so chewy. It takes a while to take care of. Then that leads us to actually our last item, which I'm pretty excited about this item because I think my wife's really going to like it. This is their Kuriko Mo Momiji. Yeah, Kuriko Momiji. Um, it's in one of these little dealies. Let's see that. Now, usually when I get these things in the snacku, it lets me know that it's probably going to be something pancakey and soft. Because that's how they... You know, something on my hand. Because that's how they package these things. Let me get this open. Without crushing things. Mm, yeah, it looks nice. So it looks like a leaf, like a maple leaf, as you can see. Does it look like a maple leaf to you? Well, let me see if I can hold it from the bottom so you can kind of see it better. It's like a maple leaf. It's thick. It's very thick. It feels very, very cakey. Mm. It smells kind of like cornmeal a little bit. All right. This seasonal snack is from a Hiroshima snack shop called Yamadaya. Uh, they've been making snacks since 1930 using a special Castella bun infused with locally harvested maple syrup and filled with red bean paste. Oh, yeah, maybe my wife's not going to like this. She's not huge on red bean paste, um, but she does like maple, so I don't know. Um, I'm not huge on maple, but I like red bean paste, so let's see how this is. That does smell cornmeal. Mm. I got red bean paste, which actually looks purple. You see how you can see how cakey that looks. It's very very cakey. Red bean paste, like it's sweet, but it's not like crazy sweet, which is why I like it. It's definitely got that slightly mealy crushed bean texture, which takes a little bit of getting used to. I feel like and I could really turn some people off, but I'm fine with it. Mm. I don't know if I'm. I mean, I'm not really tasting the maple in this. I guess I'm getting the sugariness from the maple. But I'm not really tasting the maple because the red bean paste is sweet enough to kind of mask that. So, for what it's supposed to be, it doesn't deliver what I would think. But, you know, it's good. I like it. I love it. I kind of like it. Red bean paste at some points, uh, sometimes too, when you keep eating it, starts to feel like almost potato-y texture-wise. And that's the way that one's getting. Okay, so what I like the most, that kabocha senbai, the one with the pumpkin seeds, that impressed me. I like that quite a bit. Uh, the pumpkin rusk right here, that pumpkin rusk was really nice. Uh, those are probably, those are my two favorites from, like, the seasonal things. Uh, of everything else, um, all that other stuff was good, but Le Monde, that, the Le Monde right there, that's probably my favorite from the additional things, not the regular seasonal stuff, so, cool. Um, I have a bunch of extras, because that, that's why I upgraded to the regular size box. I was doing the tasting box for a while, and that's what a bunch of my older snack unboxings are, so I'm very, very happy that I upgraded to the regular one because it is so much better because I would end up eating all the tasting stuff and then just be like, I feel like it was barely anything and I just want to keep eating, so this is better because I always have leftovers, so I can kind of stretch it through the month until I get my next one. So, um, yeah, this one was pretty good. Um, not my favorite of the snack use that I've gotten, but pretty good, as long as there are a few things in there that I'm just like... I like that quite a bit. I'm good. So next month, I'm going to let people know. If you don't want to know what the next month's theme is until the video's up, then just shut off the video right now. But before you do, subscribe, please. If you want to know, uh, notif if you want notifications for whenever I put up videos, you can hit the little 
uh, bell to give you a notification, but please subscribe. It takes you like literally a second. It can mean a lot for me in the long run with my channel and everything. So I would really appreciate that. You can leave comments below. Tell me what you think you would like out of this box or if you've had stuff from this box or stuff similar. Tell me what you do like. What don't you like? Let's talk about that. And then you can do a thumbs up. That would be nice. But that's not that big of a deal. I'd rather have the subscribe. Please. Uh, so anyway, so everyone else, shut off the video unless if you don't want to know what the theme for next month is. Okay. People shut off the video. People who want to know, the theme is going to be interesting because it's going to be yuzu, which I'm not all that familiar with. I know it's like a citrus fruit. Um, so it's going to be yuzu and wasabi. Sounds like a weird pairing. I don't think those things are together. I think it's like separate things. Like these things are wasabi. These things are yuzu. But that should be an interesting one. I'm a little afraid of that box because I feel like there's a decent likelihood I could not be that interested in it. But... I've kind of said that about items in Snacku before, and I've been totally wrong. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I hope I'm wrong. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Once again, subscribe, please. I'd love it. Um, pass this video along if you think it's cool. If not, it's no big deal. But thank you for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.